I love you too. I love you. Okay, what should I do with a tooth fairy? Should I throw it or at it? Okay. At it. Oh, your tooth came out, baby. Okay, don't worry. Under the tooth fairy, we'll give her ten thousand dollars. You will. You want ten thousand dollars? <laughs> you want ten thousand dollars? Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, oh my goodness. There is one thing I love Obio for. There is one thing I love the video for. The way he takes care of his kids. In fact, maturity is not about age. I'm telling you that he's doing far better than some very old and matured men who even have more than one kid. Like, I don't, I don't know if you guys understand. Who have kids, you know, like... Hmm? He takes very good care of them. Still the same way he used to take care of, or he's still taking care of Imade. Though, you know, Sophia is just trying to be a kind of a little, will I say, far away from... Yeah, despite that he's married to Choma, and you guys know after what happened that God has blessed them with these twin babies. But he's still reaching out to all his other kids, knowing fully well that... They are his flesh and blood. Guys, can you imagine? For a fallen tits, for a fallen tits, the video rewards her daughter with 10k dollars. So like, and how smart this little girl can be. When the video mentioned we will, she said you will, like excluding her mom more because ah, my mom can't give me that amount. Is you daddy that you supposed to give me? It was really fun to watch, honestly. And I just want to say that it's not all about Anywhere you are, you have kids, you have, make sure you reach out to them. They are your flesh and blood. They are your flesh and blood. I don't like this situation of where people will just abandon their kids, leave their kids, allow only the woman to suffer. Give them all the love and attention they need. When you, when you like, um, um, shower them with love and attention, there won't be room for all this um hatred envy even when they grow up tomorrow they are going to like see themselves as you know family siblings and that love will be there but by the time you focus one attention on just one one particular or just that your family excluding those ones that are as a result of your mistakes or whatever tomorrow that's what gives birth to jealousy envy vices here and there so i just say a big thumbs up to the video honestly he's one guy i know despite his age but he's quite young he really takes care of his kids very 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 well and even his wife he choma if he takes care of them very very well he doesn't joke with them but guys and i keep wondering why are these ladies not married is it that they don't want to move on or is that they just don't want to like you know sometimes maybe they're just thinking of me getting married am i going to give my child that attention of course the video is capable but he can't be with more than one wife we know that he's married to our chef chi so like all those ones they are still there i know they get everything they want materially he's taking care of them but i don't know i don't know well is their wish after all there are families that just have one child female some male so if they feel like they are fine staying all alone why still depending on him for everything since he's really taking care of them it's fine so guys that brings me to neo two gist in one i really applaud neo's maturity because the year is still very fresh it's still like an embryo to start all these bad boys and yes a lot of persons are just like acting on spill with Fina, spill with Fina. In fact, I'm going to come to Perry and Messi later because I'm really so disappointed. And a lot of persons forgetting that that podcast was shot last year, early December. So some persons are just like taking it like it's a recent thing, it's a new thing. And, and Fina, that was her... Um, that was what she saw in the house, okay? I wouldn't say it was her experience. That was her observation. That was what she saw. That Neo called her Raz. And she was like, why will you call me Raz? Why will you Why will you use that to classify or qualify me? Of course, we all know. Feel like during your season, you were more like Basbos, Raja, but you know, that that is her person. That is her person. So, but she mentioned in doing corner that if, you, if that she's kind of like a loner. Forget about all the gragra she does. So those things are just like part of the form, part of her strategy to like get what she wants. And so when um she he hearing it from a guy, you know, sometimes there are things you wouldn't want to hear from the opposite sex. 
Yeah, hearing it from the guy, I think he really broke her. She really felt bad about it. And she'd be like, well, I knew why. Why will you come here as you that is just coming from you that just came to Lagos for the first time because of BBN? Well, it doesn't really matter. Everybody mustn't be in Lagos. There are people that are doing well in Portacot, Abuja, Calabar. They've never been to Lagos. If you don't have anything bringing you to Lagos, will you come to Lagos and start wondering just for them to say you want to feel among or something? No, but then... So, but I love the way uh, Neo has come to say, he wrote that, ah, that he doesn't have strength for anything that doesn't concern God, love, and money this year. So, if it's not about God, if it's not about love, if it's not about money, count me out. So, invariably, anything that has to do with basketballs, anything that has to do with fight, anything that has to do with Allah, please count me out. Too. And he still came out again and put up another uh, thing. So, and people have come on his comments like, Troll him to like insult him, blah blah blah. Honestly, guys, the way fans do fans, eh? You guys exaggerate things so much. The way you guys take things too far. Fans are the ones causing these problems. You just sit at home with your phone or whatever. You just be typing rubbish because you feel <clears throat> you're just sitting somewhere. <clears throat> you just be trolling people. Excuse me, guys. Just be talking to people anyhow as if they are nothing. It's it's unfair. It's unfair. Fina made an observation and you have come to say, ah, this year me don't have... And Pere has said, oh, apologize on his behalf. You guys should just let it be. Why come online to insult this one? So honestly, eh, on, on EBN Stanship, they are doing more harm than good. Guys, you guys should be coming down. You guys should be coming down. You guys, there is no need for all these things, all these passports. There is no need. Perry has apologized on Neo's behalf and Neo has come out to say, I don't want, I don't have strength for this, that, that, that. And that ends it. So why are you guys now making a fruit about out of the whole stuff? Then tomorrow you trigger Fina to come and people will not start this January. So you guys, that's just it. Let me see you guys in the comment. I love you guys. See you guys in the next one.